Okay, next we look into the second protocol now. Simplex stop and wait protocol for an error free channel. Look at that. Here, we have introduced a new word called stop and wait. Why should we stop and wait? Because it deals with the problem of uh, flow control. Flow control implies that the receiver may be slow than sender. In the rate at which the sender can send receiver may not be able to or will not be able to capture the data at that pace, slow receiver. So essentially in short we say the problem of fast sender and slow receiver. fast sender and slow receiver is the problem of flow control. If you want me to explain diagrammatically, this is host 1 sender and this is the bandwidth, the channel is host 2, machine 2 receiver. Suppose if this can send at a rate of 100 packets per second, let us imagine. This say that no, I am sorry, I cannot accept more than 20 packets per second. So if it send 100 packet in one second, it can accept only 20. So what is it going to do for remaining 80? In earlier protocol, we were assuming, in earlier protocol, we were assuming that the remaining 80 packets will get buffered. But here it is not so. We are not assuming in the receiver will have infinite buffer, no infinite buffer space, limited buffer space, very limited. Means whatever rate it can send, it cannot accept at the same rate. So that unreality we are removing now. We assume realistically that the host to the other machine may not have sufficient capacity to accept packets at the rate at which sender is sending. So this problem is called flow control. Teacher is speaking fast and students, if they are unable to catch up that speed, then the problem will arise. That is called flow control, fast sender, slow receiver. I hope the problem is clear or the meaning of this is clear. What is the meaning of uh, fast sender and slow receiver? So let me write the highlights of this. So it deals with uh, flow control, I have already told you, this protocol deals with flow control. So therefore we say flow control means it will prevent fast sender from flooding, is the word they use flooding, the slow receiver. This could be a two mark question, what is flow control, explain, you have to explain this as I have done. The problem of fast sender and slow receiver. The act of preventing the sender from flooding the receiver with frames is called flow control. But however, like earlier occasion, we assume the communication channel communication channel is assumed to be is assumed to be error free. No errors. Whatever I pump, whatever I send will definitely be received at the receiver. There is no question of any error happening here. Okay. But the question is how are we going to deal with the problem of flow control? The general solution for flow control here, general solution to deal with the problem of flow control means prevent sender general solution for flow control. Preventing the flooding of fast sender of slow receiver. How do we do that? Flow control. Okay. What is the general approach? Let me write and then I will explain the code so that you have, you have clarity of understanding. You have clarity of understanding. Let us take it. The general solution is to provide A feedback to the sender. Who should provide? 
who should provide receiver receiver after receiving the frame should provide a feedback to the sender saying that yes whatever you have sent i have accepted now you can go for next packet or next frame okay so therefore the idea is simple i explain the idea like this please follow me carefully uh, this is the diagram again i will draw this is host one sender is a receiver host two connected by means of communication channel okay so what sender will do is the host will do is it will send the first packet frame frame f frame f arrives error free accept once it accepts the frame so this was sent in this direction then the receiver after receiving the frame will send an acknowledgement back to sender the acknowledgement acknowledgement is also a frame a dummy frame just to indicate that i have accepted till that time the sender will be waiting waiting for what waiting for the acknowledgement to come like for example i am dictating so i dictate one statement and then i will wait for the reply to come from you you should say okay sir we have written then i will start the next right i i dictate the next statement again i will wait for your response when you respond okay sir we have noted down then i will give the third statement stop and wait so the protocols in which the sender send one frame and then wait for acknowledgement before proceeding for the next is called stop and wait so name is very clear stop and wait send the frame and stop and wait for the acknowledgement to come when the acknowledgement come again send the next this is a simple ideology of stop and wait so next page i will write the definition now the protocols in which the protocols in which the sender the protocols in which the sender sends one frame sorry frame the protocols in which the sender sends one one frame and then wait for an acknowledgement i write acknowledgement in short like this acknowledgement frame before proceeding for sending next frame are known as what are these known as these are known as stop and wait protocols this is the definition of stop and wait protocols send one frame stop and wait for the acknowledgement to come before proceeding for the next so here this will clearly solve so this will clearly solve the problem of flow control this will not uh, overflow or over swamp the slow receiver sender is sending and waiting for the receiver response okay sir i am finished you you can send the next very simple approach so based on this i will now explain to you uh, the presentation where i where, wherein i will show you the code all right so let's see the code of this look at this in this protocol simplex stop and wait protocol data is transmitted in only one direction no errors occur perfect channel this is for a no, no, uh, error free channel noiseless channel the receiver can only process the received information at a finite rate look at this finite rate the problem here is how to prevent the sender from flooding the receiver general solution receiver send an acknowledgement the receiver should send acknowledgement frame back to the sender.
the sender after having sent a frame must wait for the acknowledgement frame from the receiver before sending another one stop and wait so this is the ideology of stop and wait i hope the point is clear very clear you have understood how the mechanism works so let's see now the next the code of this pseudo code okay look at this only one outstanding frame at a time so therefore i can use the frame numbers as 0 and 1 look at this uh, this is uh, i'll come back to this later point of time okay sequence number concept is look at this part, uh, uh, the code of this this is a code of sender so like earlier occasion it will receive the data from host this packet create the frame send the frame error free and then here it is waiting this was not there earlier is it not in the earlier code of uh, unrestricted utopian protocol this was not there i was not waiting earlier i was going back and keeping on repeating it that is the difference and here what is happening there is a change here it was waiting like earlier occasion get the frame on the arrival and then forward it to uh, the network layer because this is error free and then send the frame this is the acknowledgement this is a change the change is this so here we are sending the acknowledgement here it is waiting for the acknowledgement so when the acknowledgement comes it is going to hit this and then it will come out and then go and go for next so this is the ideology of stop and wait is ideology and the same thing now i show it in the full fledged program like this look at this like earlier occasion what do you say what are you saying here provides for a one directional flow of data from sender to receiver the communication channel is once again assumed to be error free as in like protocol 1 however this time the receiver has only a finite buffer capacity and a finite processing speed so the protocol must explicitly prevent the sender from flooding the receiver with data faster than it can handle all right so these are the same data structures as we saw earlier and now you can see it is a receipt sent taking the packet from network layer creating the frame sending it to the physical layer and then wait for event so what is this event that it is waiting for it is waiting for the event of arrival of the frame which is acknowledgement then again it will go back and repeat likewise receiver it will wait for the event of the arrival of the packet arrival of the frame take the frame from physical layer with framing and then it will send it to network layer and then it will send to physical layer so what is it sending acknowledgement it is sending acknowledgement here dummy frame to awaken the sender look at that so this will hit at this and it will come out and go a simple ideology of stop and wait so dear students kindly implement this also in the lab as an assignment that will be interesting exercise for simulating protocol 1 and protocol 2 so this is uh, the illustration of the first two data link layer protocols all right the first one was uh, unrestricted utopian protocol and the second one was simplex protocol with stop and wait ideology to prevent the problem of flow control okay next video i will present to you with more reality stop and wait protocol for a noisy channel noisy channel means whatever we send can get lost frame can get lost frame can get corrupted so that how we deal with that problem that we have to see okay so that will be addressed in the third protocol okay